welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tamara and this is Reimagine 50 Plus. I want to show you what Montana has to offer, perhaps some things that you would have not thought about. And those of you who have been subscribing for a while, you know that that is my goal, to get you motivated to enjoy your life, not sit home and be sad. It's time for us to get back out and experience what the world has to offer. So without further ado, let me share with you Montana. So first on our list is the town of Darby. This is a charming town full of places to eat. Well, there are saloons too, but full of places to eat, really good burgers, steaks, salads, soups. I believe we ate here a couple of times and plenty of things that the littles will also enjoy. But you may know Darby because of this place. This is where they film Yellowstone. The historic Chief Joseph's Ranch is now privately owned. And guess what? You can stay here. You can rent out some of the spaces. There's Rip's cabin, not the main house, because the family lives there now. So even if you don't stay at the ranch, it's a great place to visit, and you really are going to feel like you're in cowboy town. Now, speaking of cowboys, this is a cowboy who is an auctioneer. And if you want to do something really different and fun, find an auction where they are auctioning off all kinds of cowboy stuff. I was there on Saturday, the day before the auction, and I got to meet Rick, and he gave me a little demonstration. 2,500. Who's got two? Who's got a thousand? Now, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 13, 13, 14, 17, 14, 15, 16, 17, 16, 16, 16, 16, 17, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, Number four on the list is the Daly Mansion. The Daly Mansion was built by Marcus Daly, a copper magnet. It's located in the center of the Bitterroot Valley. It was this mining tycoon who was instrumental in starting the town of Hamilton. The state of Montana now owns the mansion and conducts tours, as well as you can rent this space for special events. If you think this road is something, wait until you see the mansion. Not only is the mansion available, but you can enjoy these lush grounds, whether you're there for a tour or you just want to check it out for perhaps a special occasion that you have coming up. Twenty-four thousand square feet, three floors, twenty-five bedrooms, fifteen bathrooms, and seven fireplaces. Make sure you visit their website in advance where you will make a reservation for your tour. Tours are on the hour and they take about 40 minutes and make sure you're able to walk up and down stairs. you might be able to request a tour guide. We had Barney Lambert and he was fabulous. He knew all the secrets. After your tour of the mansion, you are invited to take a stroll through the grounds. And that's where you will find my favorite, a three quarter scale playhouse, three rooms stocked with toys for the kids. And over the years, the caretakers have actually lived here. Number five is for all you steak lovers, and that would include me. Make sure you have a really great steak while you're in Montana. I had, well, I probably had about 10 while I was there, all at different restaurants, all delicious. Victor's Steakhouse was just one of the first ones we went to, and it sort of set the bar for the rest of them. It was really a plus good. Number six has to do with getting outside and seeing some of the history of Montana. There is plenty to pick from. 
make sure you are wearing good walking shoes, have some mosquito repellent on you, and take plenty of water. As beautiful as these forests are, they actually are in danger. Forest fires are sparked by lightning, and right now, during the summer, is when there are so many fires out of control, as we experienced on this day. We actually had to turn around. We're gonna go visit the bison at the National Bison Range. The National Bison Range is just over 18,000 acres. Established in 1908, it is one of the oldest wildlife refuge in the United States. Make sure you obey the rules while you are out driving through their territory. Do not get out of your car. Do not intimidate them. They always have the right of way. If you see a buffalo lying in sort of a nest, that's called a wallow. Those wallows establish their dominance. It also helps get rid of some of the bugs that are jumping on them because there's a lot of wooliness going on there. You have no idea how big these things are until they are standing next to your vehicle. As we got closer to the end of the road, we saw more and more, as well as other animals. That's because we were getting closer to the water. Number eight is Gem Mountain. Now I'm gonna look for some sapphires. Make sure you go online and make your reservations in advance. If you're looking for something super fun for the kiddos, this is it, and everyone will find some sapphires. Number nine is just over the hill from Gem Mountain, Phillipsburg, a charming 19th century mining town. And although there are plenty of places to grab a bite, have some coffee, some snacks, you don't want to miss the Sweet Palace. It's in an original historical building. They have a lot of fun treats that are, well, sort of, well, apropos for the area. You know, something to add to your sapphires. There really is something for everyone here. In addition to all of the sweet treats, they had some sugar-free things. So there really is something, even if you're just going to come in and look at the building, it's beautiful. Check out the beautiful copper ceiling. Don't see that every day. Number 10 on my list is the museums. Wherever you are, check out the local museums. There's nothing like getting a little dose of history and knowledge from the actual place where you are staying. I found that the local museum was a great place to ask locals some of the lore and some of the little known facts about the area. And speaking of locals, that reminds me of the bonus section. A fun way to make a vacation memorable is to try out some of the local fare, whether it's coffee, cookies, or spirits from the local distillery. And don't forget the farmer's market. What better way to really understand the locals in an area? Leave me a comment below if you have some ideas about things outside the box that are fun for the whole family. Thanks for joining me. Now get out there and have some fun. See you next week. <music>